Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss left outer joint in detail. So this is a left outer joint master class and let me start this video by asking you a question. So we have two queries. Okay, one is this one. I am joining employee table in department table on department ID in both the tables. The only difference is I putting a filter on the department tables department name. So DEPT or department name equal to analytics. I am putting here in the joint condition, left outer joint. And here I am putting in the wear condition. So here in left join only the department ID filter is there. Now you have to tell me the result of these queries will be same or different. And this is the data for employee ID, uh, employee and department table. So in employee table we have department 100, 200, 300, 500. Okay. And in department table we have 100, 200, 300, 400. Certainly department ID 500 for Rakesh is not there in this table. I hope data is clear. Put your comment. And let's start the video. Okay, so what is left outer joint? Let me quickly do left outer joint simple and we will understand it. We will discuss some interview questions as well. So watch this video will till end. You will going to learn a lot of things about left outer joint. So I'm going to join these two tables on department ID. So this is how we join. Select itself from VMP. MP is my left table, left joint, DEPT, and on what column I want to join, I will get it. So I'm doing a select star here, which means all the columns from EMP and DEPT table will come. So these tables are coming from the left table, employee table, and last two columns are coming from DEPT table. If we look at again, 500 Rakesh is not there in this, everything else is there. So if you see, we have got all 10 rows. So there are 10 rows in employee table, right? So we have got all 10 rows. And for Rakesh, we have got these two columns as null, right? Because there is no information present in department table for, for department ID 500. That's why we get null. So this is how left outer joint works. Irrespective of you have matching record or not in right table, you will get a record from the left table. Whatever matching information is there, so department ID 100, 200, 300 are there, which is not, whatever is not there, you will get null. So just to showcase you, if I do inner join, I will get only 9 records because there is no matching record for department ID 500, right? That's it. Let's move back to left join because this is a left outer join class. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a filter here now and, okay, I'm going to say department name equal to analytics. Now what happens here? So when I put a filter on the right table within join clause, so that filter is applied first on the department table and then this join happens. Okay. Which means, which means I'm doing a join, left join between employee table and department table with department name equal to analytics. If I run this now, you will see there are 10 records here and there is only one record. So join is happening between these two tables, right? So I am going to run this now and you will see only the analytics, right? Only 101 are getting joined and everything is else is null, right? Which means the filter has happened on department table and then this join has happened. It doesn't matter the order. It might confuse you, right? But first this join is happening and then this no. If you want to more visualize it, you can just do like this. Okay, select left join and I will say select star from DEPT where department name equal to analytics. Okay, so this I have written a where condition and this is the alias and then I am joining on this and I will remove this. So this condition and these conditions are same, right? So if I run this now, uh, it is saying there is some invalid column department ID. Let me run this. Okay, where is missing? Okay, fine. So if you run this, it will also show the same result. So I am just showing you that first this filter is applied and then join is happening. Okay, I hope th this makes sense now. Okay, let me move back to this query and I am going to run this again. And we are getting all 10 records. Now what I will do? I will just move this to where clause. Now what will happen? First join is going to happen and then where clause will be applied. Why? 
because this department name if you see is coming from the right table unless and until i get the department name how can i apply the filter so first this join is happening right once this join has happened then we are saying pair department name equal to analytics right which means only four records will come now previously we saw we got all 10 records because we were first applying the filter on the department table and doing the left join now what has happened left join has happened first and then we are saying give me records where department name equal to analytics right so if you see in a nutshell this is as good as doing a inner join isn't it i'll tell you why okay inner join will also give you four records now why it is happening is because if you are putting a filter right so what happens what what is let's understand what is the difference between left auto join and inner join in left auto join i will get all the records and for the right from the right table i will get null if there is no record right now when i am putting this condition in where clause anyway null will not qualify right null will not qualify so it is as good as doing a inner join when i am putting a condition on the right col uh, a column of a right table which means null will anyway not qualify i am not talking about is null filter we will talk about is null filter separately but if you are putting any other filter on the right table in the where clause it means you want to do a inner join because anyway it is going to get null for non matching records so there there is no point putting a where condition after the left join right on the right column where condition on the right tables column so it is as good as doing a inner join so next time you see any code where they are doing a left join okay and they are putting a filter on the column of right table you can just change it to inner join that will performance wise it will be better because otherwise what is happening it is doing a left join and getting more records right 10 records and then putting this if you do inner join it will get nine records only and it will it will be faster right so i hope this makes sense right so it is as good as doing a inner join now there is only one exception is null right so is null let me put back this query only the above query so this is mostly asked interview question also give me all the employees whose department is not present in department table so typically you can do a sub query right select a staff from employee from department id not in select department id from department table but that is again a sub query they will say that this is not performant do uh, give us a join join solution so what you can do you can do a left join and you know wherever department is not present the department id or department name from that table will be null so you can say where department or department name or department or department id is null that's it right and you will get the answer only the rakesh is the person whose department is not present in department table so this question is very commonly asked it was asked to me also back in 2000 i don't know in ibm okay so what's next let's put this filter this filter on the left table now let's see what happens uh, i'm going to copy this again okay let me remove this and run this now i'm going to put a filter on the column of a left table so i will say where emp dot salary equal to 10000 So how many records are there with ten thousand? One, two, two records are there, right? Now what do you think? Again, this is again a point of comment. You can comment in the description box. This is the second question. How many records will be there of this query? Let me run this. It will be surprising for you. We got all the records, right? But what is happening? Only employer, only the salary ten thousand records are getting joined with the right table. right so again this is not a right way of putting a filter on, on the column from left table you can directly you should if you want salary of 10000 only you can just put in where clause so you will get only those two records and then those will be left joint right so this is a right way of putting filter on the table which is which is left table okay and if you really want to put a filter with left join on right table then it should be here if you are putting in where clause it doesn't make sense you should do inner join right i hope this makes sense i have put in description box also everything what you need to know about these tables i have create a statement insert a statement of these tables 
I'll put in description box. Let me know if left auto join makes sense to you. You are clear with it and share this video so that everyone understands how left auto join works when we put a condition on on condition or where clause, right? Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.